Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Tuesday, October 19th, 2021. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Usually when you go away, there's a pile of crap to deal with when you get back. This time, it was surprisingly and alarmingly a little bit light. I'm not looking a gift horse in the mouth, so let's get right into it, shall we? A teenage student at Old Mill High School got into some serious trouble yesterday after apparently bringing in an unloaded BB gun to school. Another student spotted the gun about noontime, but for some reason never said anything until shortly before dismissal. Well, as you can imagine, it prompted a lockdown of Old Mill High and both middle schools that are on the same complex, and a search for the student ensued. After about an hour and a half, they found the student and an unloaded BB gun nearby. The school preemptively did cancel all after-school and evening programs, and the student is potentially facing criminal charges from the police and certainly punishment from the schools. Many parents were upset at the lack of detailed communication from the school, but in this case, or worse, the school's priority has to be making sure that the students are safe. I think the details can come later, which indeed they did with a principal's letter posted to the website. On Saturday, just after midnight, a man pulled a knife on another man at Federal House. Apparently, the two were dancing at the bar on Market Street when, quote, accidental contact was made, causing the one man to pull a knife. He did flee the scene, and police were unable to find him. There were no injuries, but it seems like an extreme reaction to me. Speaking of Annapolis police, yesterday, in the wake of calls to reduce violence in the city, Mayor Buckley and Chief Jackson issued a plan. I've not digested it all yet, but we'll post it up on ionanapolis.net a little bit later on today. To date, the Chief Jackson has not responded to my inquiries about my suspicion that they are cherry-picking the crimes that they want to release to the public. He has canceled two meetings and not responded to emails, so absent a response from the Annapolis Police Department, we're going to begin sending Public Information Act requests as needed so we can accurately report the crime in the city. We likely will put out a disclaimer on any APD stories that the information provided by the department may not be complete. Stay tuned on that. Maryland is losing a 50-year public servant by the end of the year. Nancy Kopp, who began her career as a staffer in the House of Delegates before becoming a delegate herself and is finishing her career as the second longest-serving treasurer in the state's history, having served for 19 years. Kopp will be retiring sometime before the end of the year. I always love to spotlight a business that can open under adversity, and Tim and Claire Coe did just that. Congratulations to Goosehead Insurance Agency, a new firm that opened up back in March in the heat of the COVID-19 pandemic right on South Street. But they have their hands full with a growing business and three ankle biters. So congrats to them and much success. We will be speaking with Tim a little bit later this week for a local business spotlight, so you want to stay tuned for that in a few weeks. As we begin to wrap it up for the day, I hope you did catch the bonus pod that we dropped yesterday with Lex Arizi from Fish for a Cure. What a great and fun way to raise much needed funds for cancer support. I went on the website and actually made a donation to my friends at Liquefied Creatives Boat because they were, well, how do I say this diplomatically? Not leading the fundraising pack, let's just say. But if you can, please help support the cause. And later today, we are going to be dropping all of the City of Annapolis candidate bonus pods at 2 p.m. They're all going to be at the exact same time, just to be fair. So you want to keep an eye out for them if you are indeed an Annapolis City resident. All right, that's it for the news. But first, a quick thank you to the four sponsors for today's daily news brief, Solar Energy Services, the Christy Neidhart team of Northrop Realty, a Long and Foster Company, Rehab to Perform, and Scott Gibson for Ward 2. All right, now hang tight. George Young is here from DCMDVA Weather with your locally forecast weather report. All of that in about a minute. Hi, I'm Scott Gibson, candidate for Annapolis City Council in Ward 2. Did you know that the city has let one in five police positions go vacant this year? Think about that for a minute. That's 20%. I'm running for city council because I believe a $152 million budget should be enough to make the investments our community needs. 
We simply cannot continue to go back to the taxpayer time after time after time and ask for more, especially when our tax rates are already 35% higher than Anne Arundel County. If elected, I'll leverage my nearly two decades of experience running $100 million organizations to bring focus and efficiency to your city council, something I think has been lacking. To learn more or to contact me, please visit scott-gibson.com. Again, that's scott-gibson.com. Paid for by friends of Scott Gibson, Sandy Crozier Treasurer. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Tuesday, October 19th. Plenty of sunshine yesterday for the Annapolis region, though it was cool out with winds gusting over 25 miles per hour throughout the day. And today will be fairly similar with tons of sunshine headed our way all the way through the weekend. Look for highs today near 70 degrees with winds remaining a bit breezy for most of the day before more sunshine tomorrow and Thursday with highs each day in the 72 to 78 degree range before another cold front delivers a reinforcing batch of cool autumn air with highs Friday back down around 70 and back into the mid or upper 60s for highs for the weekend, which should make for a perfect setup for Saturday's 12 p.m. Navy home football game against number two ranked Cincinnati. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of D.C. MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter each day and download our app at D.C. MDVA Weather from the Apple or Google App Stores so you can always stay weather informed. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. With all the talk of energy resilience in the news recently, I'm surprised there's not more talk about solar plus batteries, especially since one-third of all of our new residential solar projects include a battery backup system that provides instant energy security and peace of mind. And with incentives in place for battery backup, this investment is now more affordable than ever. With financing rates as low as 0.99% and plans offering 18 months same as cash, it's now easier than ever to go solar with no money down. Financing creates an easy bill swap scenario where you replace your electric bill with a loan payment, allowing you to build equity in your own personal energy supply. Don't wait for your next power outage to act. Contact us today at 410-923-6090 or visit us at solarsaves.net to learn more about solar with battery backup. Don't wait another minute. Sunshine's a wasted. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. Another moving moment from Christy Neidhart of the Christy Neidhart team from Northrop Realty, a long and foster company. One of the most common questions we get, how do I maximize the value of my home before I sell it? It's a great question. We look at improvements like investments. What is the rate of return? For example, if we invest $5,000 in painting kitchen cabinets and installing granite, how much more will our home sell for? The answer, about $25,000 more. That's a 500% return on investment. Because of returns like this, we have started a program called Investing in You. We know cash is often tight when you're making a move, and we are here to help. We will front you up to $15,000 to invest in refreshing your home before you list it, with the agreement to be paid back once your home settles. Call us today so we can help you maximize your home's value. That's another moving moment from Christy Neidhart. To get in touch, call 410-599-1370 or visit kn-team.com. That's kn-team.com. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Ion Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.